what's up you beautiful people of youtube it's your boy deadshot shadow here and welcome to one of the best gaming franchises that i have ever played bioshock now whether you are new to the bioshock franchise or a longtime veteran who really enjoys the game i want to say welcome to my channel and i hope you enjoyed this first video for it a little context about this game without spoiling anything important for the new people here is that this is a story-based first person shooter where we have to fight through this underwater city known as Rapture and figure out what our purpose is for being there. That's just a basic way of letting you guys know what's going on so we can jump straight into this gameplay and you guys can see it for yourself and tell me what you think of it. I hope everyone enjoys the video and if you do, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to see more of Bioshock later on. Alright you guys, here we go. Bioshock, 1960, Mid-Atlantic. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. So it's obvious we're on a plane right now. You know what? To they Jack with love from Mom and Dad, would you kindly not open it? Yep. That's how this game's starting off. We were in an airplane, and then the airplane just suddenly went down. Ah, <sighs> good old Bioshock. And here we go. Drowning in the mid-Atlantic. Probably freezing to death. Oh, look, there goes the propeller. I would hate to be in this water. I'm being serious. I'm pretty sure it's cold out here, too. I probably would drown. To be honest, I probably would drown. Not saying that I can't swim. I'm just saying, for one thing, I, I don't think I would have survived that right there. I could be wrong. Well, we're not going that way. Oh yeah, so if it seems like, so I do, I like I said, I have played, I'm not sure if I said this in the intro or not, but I have played this game before, and I absolutely love playing this game, just for the story alone, but um, if I say things that seem like I haven't, it's just because I'm just getting into character and stuff like that, not getting into character, but just, I don't know, I guess trying to make the experience more authentic for the new people here, so don't worry. Ah, uh, yes, the open door. You just swam out of the mid-Atlantic Ocean. You don't see anything around besides this wreckage. And you walk up the stairs, and you see a door open. What's your first thought going to be? Go back in the water, wait outside, or actually go in the door? Me, I might go inside, but I seriously doubt it, but... Uh... And then said door closes behind you. You didn't close the door, the door closes behind you. Propaganda. No gods or kings, only man. Oh boy. It feels like the 1960s. That's what I like about it also. It feels like the 1960s. When it says 1960s, it feels like the 1960s. It's not like overly advanced. It's not overly, well, other than what you're probably about to see. But besides that, it's not overly advanced. It's not none of that. It's just, it feels that like the 1960s. It feels like the time era that they say it's in. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Ten fathoms. All right. Eighteen fathoms. Oh, here it is. Fire at your fingertips. Incinerate. Plasmids by Ryan Industries. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? He is. No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. 
Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose Rapture. I mean, considering the fact you made it possible, I wouldn't really call it the impossible. Where the artist would not fear the censor. Where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Oh, so yeah. So you guys see that thing right there? I'll zoom in on it right here. But right there on that little land bridge, yeah. Let's just say we'll meet up with him later on. Not right now, but later on. But yeah, like I said, you guys, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Um, to be honest, I'm probably going to try and make this as th as authentic for you guys more than it is for me. Just so you guys can be more in the dark about everything and not more in the dark. I mean, like, so it can be more authentic for you guys. I mean. Security's banging all over. Please, lady, I didn't mean to trespass. Don't hurt me. I don't know why I'm reading the subtitles when you can clearly hear what they're saying. Oh, Johnny is dead. Big fell! Johnny is gone. Johnny is dead. Woo, girl, you need some, you need some, you need a touch up. Splicer. Oh yeah, so we're going to be running into a lot of these guys. These are the main enemy for, these are the main enemies for Bioshock, Splicers. Oh boy. How could such a little lady cause so much damage? She has some agility too, now that I think about it. She jumped all the way from up there on top of this thing. Alright. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Well, hello, Atlas. So I'm supposed to trust you, even though we literally just met. Okay. Wait, what does that say? Ryan doesn't own us. <clears throat> oh, that sounds very comfortable. Like a sheet with ba for babies, or just a sheet in general? Like what? That bot's aim is terrible. Would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer, sealed Johnny M before they. Goddamn splicers. Now, who is that doing all that? Is that humming or talking? Got a wrench. Not really sure how this is gonna help me. Woo, okay. Forgot all about that. See if I don't see if I can dodge all that fire so I don't get boined. I can control myself. I can. Woo! Hold boy back. Yo, what? Uh, I wish there was a block button for this game. Eve hypo first aid kit. That's the perfect way to start this off. Give me my good stuff. 
So yeah, you can basically search just about everything in this game. Suitcases, trash cans. And for those of you who actually want to play this game, it's a good game. I'm telling you, search everything. When I say everything, I mean search everything. Because everything can come in handy for this game. I mean, it's a little bit nasty whenever you find, like, some bread or something in a trash can. But other than that, it's like, yeah, it's 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 pretty use, useful to search everything in this game. Plasmids. Oh, those are definitely going to come in handy. And you guys are going to learn what plasmids are right about now. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Now question, does anybody find it a little weird how you find something with a needle and your first instinct is to just jab yourself in the wrist with it? Why would you jab a random needle that you just found into your wrist? Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Ah, uh, gotta love that noise. Let's fuck weak. You're a weak chopper. This little fish, I love telling it would not be that yellow. Always have been. You'll be no better off with Metal Daddy, little fish. See you floating from my head. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Big Daddy is, those are probably the most dangerous of characters in this entire game. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Girl, put on some Daddy, shoes. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. Little girl, where are your shoes at? You all right, boy? First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? I literally just jabbed a needle into my wrist for no reason. You know, we go we go skip that. We go skip that. Let's just go. I gotta remember how to play this game. I mean, even though it's telling me how to play it, I mean, like, it's still hard for me to know how to play it sometimes because I know how to play other games and then just this, the control scheme of this comes out of nowhere. So it's just like, wait, where's that? Ah, oh, they're at the back of the plane. Hello? Nope, everybody's still singing at the bottom of the ocean. Oh no, I need to hurry up and get out of here. That's cracking. And I ain't talking about no cocaine. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, cool. Oh boy. This place is a real mess. Okay, I can't get out? Okay. I guess we gotta investigate then. A corpse, what you got? First aid kit, Eve hypo. So basically, Eve hypos are basically the stuff you use to recharge that little blue bar underneath my health right there. It's what you can use to... <clears throat> to get, like, more energy for your powers, I guess you could say. No cigarettes. Don't smoke, kids. Smoking's bad for you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Nothing. Eve hypo. What's that? Oh. Woo! Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Bink. Ooh. Sleep, sleep. Put him to sleep. Put him in a coffin. Bink. Put him in a coffin. Tell, tell Ryan I'm sorry. No, I won't do it again. No, 
Go up the stairs. Woo! Well, we're not taking that elevator. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Got him. I don't understand how you can be progressively running like that and you're on fire. I mean, I understand you can be progressively running like that, but I don't understand how you can do that effectively instead of just being like running rampantly I mean all right let's go in the elevator Whoop. what was that was that glass Listen, I've got a family I need to get them out of here but the splicers have cut me off from them if you can reach them in Neptune's bounty then maybe just maybe I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. Got that right. You were the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Only reason why I would do this is because you saved my life. That's it. Oh man, I was trying to bring up the what you call it, not. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about that woman. What's this over here? First aid kit. I understand it's supposed to. Why would you put a first aid kit by somebody who's already dead? I can understand the pet bar because it probably was his favorite snack, Why but. Why is it today and not then when you were warm and sweet? Why can't mommy hold you to her breast? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say that. So she lost her baby. So the whole thing about this game is that, um, wait, is that her hand? Oh, that's her hand, but what's that right there? Oh, that's a pipe. That's the pipe in her hand. Okay, I thought it was a hook. So, ma'am, are you fine? Baby and me, baby and me. Bink, stick and weave. Oh. Stick and weave. Bink. Go to sleep. Ooh. Ooh, a revolver. Why is your baby a gun? They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. So, yeah, that's the thing about plasmids. Like, even though they gave you powers, it was basically kind of like a, a drug thing like in real life you took it and then you had so much power and then you wanted more of that power so then you basically did everything you could to get some so it's like so like he just said babies were being strangled because of plasmids that's how bad it was what the who's that Oh yeah, money. What was that? Where are you at? Uh, the dames of the gents. Uh, arrows telling me to go this way, and I'm pretty sure the bathrooms aren't that big, so I'm gonna go to the dames side. Spliced. I think the term for spliced was because um there was there's like a doctor here or something like that and he experimented on a bunch of people so that's why they say spliced because that was basically the term for it uh pick let's listen to the diary hey brenda you care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of plymouth rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now now i ain't saying i'm shakespeare i'm trying to run a respectable theater i got working folk coming in Dude, you ain't really need to talk to Bre Brenda like that. Wait, did he say Brenda? I'm, I hope he said Brenda, because I'm pretty. Otherwise, I just like messed that name up very bad. Anyway, so yeah, there was a guy. I don't know why that guy was hiding inside the women's bathroom, but okay. 
So, uh, let's see. Bingo. That's the hole in the wall he was talking about. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Oh, yeah. So, you see that? So, remember... Remember, like, maybe... I don't know, maybe five minutes ago when I said... You think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. Basically, that that's basically, I wasn't going to explain it like that, but basically, like he said, they were, they were basically experimented on and turned into the little girl that you saw like five minutes ago with the big guy named Mr. Bubbles. So, yeah. And I remember this part ever so vividly because this is probably just... This guy is dumb. Like, he snuck up on her and was like, ooh, shush, little girl. And this is why it's not good. See, this is what you get right here for hitting that little girl. But yeah, look at this. I like how he just flips that chair like it's nothing. Woo! Woo! I don't understand how that guy is still alive after that. Just... Ooh. So yeah, that's the thing with the big daddies right there. You know, they they are like I said, one of the most dangerous things in this whole in this whole game. Why? Because of that sole reason. Because of that drill arm, because of what's in here? But yeah, because of that drill arm. Ooh, more rounds. Um and just the fact that he's big, bulky, and can just about move everywhere at a very fast pace. You think he'd be slow with how big he is, but no, he is very fast. And that's that's a basic disadvantage for you as the enemy. Woo! Got him, got him, got him, got him. Ooh, sit down. Now I saw you had a gun. Does that mean you got bullets? There we go. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. No, 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 no. Oh, I got 19 bullets. Oh, dodge him. Got him. I probably shouldn't use bullets on the people who actually have just a... Who basically only have like a pipe because then that's just a waste. I should just dodge and weave those. Woo! I did not see them for a second. No, that's a lot of damage. Hold up! Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Because you do take you do take shock damage if you shock the water and then just step in after that. Focus splicer, four dollars. Uh, what you got? Another thugger splicer. Ain't got none on them. A big daddy corpse. I wonder what killed him. Uh, thirty-three dollars. You know, Eve hypo. That's gonna come in handy. Woo! All right. Uh, storage crate. Storage crate. Oh, old-time whiskey. Oh, now I'm drunk. I did not see what was in that crate before I collected it. Don't drink. Don't drink either, kids. That's bad for you, also. No, oh, but this is the way out. Wait a minute. Good morning, Rapture. Stay up to date. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way then. Neptune's bounty. Uh, of course, it's not that easy. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't trying to fire. And jumping in the water. Get back. I have five more things. Think. Ooh, go to sleep. Give me that money. Moolah, baby. What is that? What is that? 
Whoa, that's a fire. That's a not a fire launcher. What you call it? Bingo. Let me loot the people first, Atlas. Shut up. All right, now I'm gone. All right, let me just jump over that. Let me jump over that right there. Okay. And let me get out. Oh, of course. Oh, Christ. You're trapped. Gonna try to override the exit from here. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches sent you? Hey, there's no need for that language, Andrew Ryan. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite to be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does the bomb you, So that's basically his warning to us. Basically telling us that he, he that this is a place of freedom. Even though all of this dumb crap right here has happened. I'm gone. I'm gone. Woo. Aim for the head. You will do more damage. I would hope so. Oh, jeez. All right. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. All right, so we got to go. We got to use the emergency access route. But before we do that, uh, I think I'm going to end it here, you guys. I'm going to call part one of the Bioshock game right here because I don't want it to be too long for anyone. So for a quick recap, our plane crashed in the mid-Atlantic. We met Atlas after traveling to Rapture. We jabbed a magic needle in our wrist to gain electric powers. A little girl with a big daddy put her stinky feet in my face. We fought off a ton of splicers and we met the so-called king of Rapture known as Andrew Ryan. Not a bad way to spend 30 minutes after surviving a plane crash in possibly freezing water of the ocean. But I'm going to end it right there for today and get this video as soon as possible because I really need to post. So if you good people enjoyed this video of Bioshock, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe to more gameplays later on. Until the next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.